Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from April 3rd to the 9th of 2023, but it could also be timeless, meaning whenever you see this uh, reading will be the right time for you. So uh, yeah, as you can see, I changed the setting. Um, and welcome to my humble home. It's like we're doing a session between you and I together, as if you were sitting across from me and having a cup of coffee or a tea or whatever it is that you like to drink. And uh, I want it to be more of a closeness uh, than just always having the same thing. I want to go back in the way that I used to do my readings. So those of you that remember me from the beginning, uh, you know, I had my own style. And then, you know, of course you evolve, you know, during the years and you want to try something new and you want to try all these things and it's okay, you know, because it makes you evolve, it makes you see. And, but then it's like, hmm, I want to go back into how I used to do my readings before. So here we are. So I'm very happy to, for all of you to be here. Your last but not least, my baby sharks. And uh, so I'm going to start doing the reading with your challenge. I put my reading glasses on. I need them. <laughs> so this is the key. Okay, the key is going to show me your challenge. And it's also part two of the key. It's going to show me the resolution and what you need to do here. Okay, so let's get started right away. So anywhere that you have Pisces in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, you claim it. If not, look at your other placements. Feel free also in the reading to take what's yours and let the rest go. And also to swap the energies around if you feel that I'm not talking about you. Cuspers and cross watchers are welcome to the reading. All right, three shuffles, two, three. And let's see what is your challenge. Your challenge of this week is isolation. A lot of you might be feeling isolated or you're taking time out to contemplate stuff around you. Okay. Um, or uh, feeling lonely. So it says here, there's a tendency to push people away by isolating yourself from uncomfortable situations. Look into new ways to break down the walls to create better ways to connect with others. Don't keep your light to yourself. Open up to share it. Okay. So this is your card and we'll see what's underneath. Underneath is addictions and it says compassion here. And okay, when I look at this card, what it shows me that there's been a lot of healing that you've been going through, especially with the heart chakra healing, okay? And uh, there's a lock on the door. There's a lock, but it's opened. So it's up to you to open this lock. You just have to take the lock out and the door opens. It's really up to you if you want to open that heart chakra of yours to someone. Let's see. The situation is influenced by an addictive behavior that is influencing you or the person involved. Pain and trauma are being projected. Try to see the truth of the situation by stepping outside of the chaos to create an opening for forgiveness, patience, and compassion. Right. Now let's look at uh, part two of the key. Nature therapy. So all you need to probably go in nature. It's about, you know, grounding yourself, right? Your soul loves to connect and be one with nature. A beautiful healing takes place when you ground and center yourself with the earth. Being in nature as a way to restore what has been lost and brings you back to your center. And underneath you have spirit guidance, co-creation. Your spirit guides and guardians are here to assist and to help you evolve into your authentic self. The time is now to see yourself as a spiritual team sees you. They ask that you remove all limiting thoughts and open yourself to them. Meditation and asking for signs are a great, a great way to deepen your connections. Okay, now I'm going to take out the Lover's Oracle to see if there's any additional messages for you before we get into your reading. We've got one card. I'll take out another one. Two. No, three cards wanted to come out for you. Oh, well, I usually take out two cards, but if it says three, it's three. First one is um, this card here, and it's friendship. 
Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and, lo and your love life will dramatically improve. Again, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. There we go. Then you've got this card here. And it says, embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Okay, we'll put this card right here. And the next one you want, you got the tree of life here. And it says time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. You are trying too hard and to give it time. So there's three cards here. Usually, okay, we'll put it like this. I know you're not going to see any of them, but anyway. <laughs> Let's get started with your reading. Three shuffles. One. For Pisces. My baby sharks. Two. And three. Cut in three. Shuffle three times. And let's get started, Pisces. First card out is the Sacral Chakra. A lot of healing has to be done. It could be part of your creativity part of as well. Okay, so Sacral Energy. Some of you could be healing it. And if you don't know, maybe you probably have it blocked. So there's a lot of uh, videos here that you could do on Sacral Chakra. If those of you that need a chakra balancing or healing, you could also contact Mark underneath my video. But Sacral Chakra, then you've got Triumph, the Ace of Swords. There is a breakthrough here uh, for you, okay? It's like you're, you're taking the sword and you're cutting out whatever that's no good and the sunshine is returning here. Clarity, truth, breakthrough, epiphany, communication, cre creative ideas that are taking place. Beautiful. Next card is, got, is a spiritual union, okay? A spiritual union is coming into one here with the third eye energy. Beautiful. A lot of healing, a lot of heart energy here. You got emotional withdrawal, eight of cups, and you got the tower. So some of you are walking away from a situation here and walking away from something that this, there's a breakthrough. You definitely, there's, there was a tower moment, you know, from what not long, long, no longer serves you here. <clears throat> got the throat chakra as well so that has to be released maybe there will be some type of communication maybe you need healing towards that and you got triumph succeeding if i look at it you also have the heart chakra energy to heal so you have three let me see let me see if just i I'm just want to be curious here yeah so you got the heart sacral and the throat chakra that needs to be healed or is healing at this time. And what you have around you is the shadow energy. Okay, there, no, no, sorry, sorry, this is the shadow. Facing your own shadow, facing your own demons, facing your own fears. You're coming front, you're coming head to head with yourself. Even though you do feel like you're coming head to head with somebody out there, it's within yourself first. Yeah, okay. There's been a lot of heartache. There could have been a loss here in a situation. A lot of you have been suffering in silence for a very long time. There's deception and envy around you with the Seven of Swords. We're going to look into that. Now I'm just going to take additional cards before I start clarifying for you, okay? So let me clarify. Uh, first, let me... Before I clarify, so let me just take out a few other cards. One, two, three. You got number 77, number 22. This is also a seven, so it could be seven, 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 two, two, one. Okay, let's see for Pisces. What additional messages do we need for Pisces? Three, please. The truth is coming in. Heavens are opening here. Speak with honesty, Pisces. What is hidden will come to light. All will be revealed. Or maybe someone has to speak the truth to you. The truth is coming in. Why? Because I got this here. 
Ace of Swords. What else does, does Pisces need to know? Disappointing news. There will be close. Okay, there's also memories and the Empress energy. There is closure. Some of you will have closure. The past will resurface to be dealt with it again, maybe for some of you. Final release and abandonment, cutting and severing ties, and no more revealing or reliving painful memories. Okay, closure is coming in for you. Disappointing news. There could have been some type of disappointment. This tower energy, maybe. It's the disappointing news, maybe. A message that brings sadness and grief or dealing with uh, reality or dealing with the facts that you're going through. Uh, maybe so you are just having a, real, a whirlwind of emotions and unexpected disruptions of plans here. With the, uh, with the memories, okay, memories and energy. This could be reflecting on the past, holding on to experiences that you went through. Times with the time, times with loved ones, trips down memory lane, and the Empress energy. For some of you, this could be a mother figure around you. Not all of you, but it could be a mother figure and energy. Um, but it talks about beauty and grace, a birth to new creative ideas, nurturing, supportive uh, mother figure, embracing the softer, feminine side of yourself, Pisces. Right. Okay, so let's start uh, doing your uh, reading. Three shuffles. Let's start clarifying. Two. Three. Okay, so let's look at the numbers. The Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? for Pisces, deception and envy. Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Wands, just be careful around work area or whoever you work for, if you work in an environment, even if you have your own business, you know, uh, because, you know, if you're known or this is about something that you've been working on very much. And there could be people around you that are envious of you, of you know, the work that you do, or there probably there, there, there's some deception here because with the five of swords and energy, uh, I do see here that, uh, you know, it talks about people not having your back. Someone here is not playing by the rules. Right, so be careful of your back when it comes to that, you know, the people wanting what you have here. Um, yeah, I want to see something else there. I want to clarify more, okay? Let's clarify again, because I do see that you're nurturing yourself with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you know, this is about stability. It's about creativity. It's about being stable. There is money here. There's prosperity. And something is coming into alignment for you. Okay, there's a momentum. You're going to be very, very busy here. But I want to know why the Five of Swords is standing right there. So, yeah. You know. Let's see here. Why is the Five of Swords here? Two of Wands. Seven of Cups. Four. Okay. It's about your stability here. It definitely is. There's a King and Queen of Pentacles here in energy. There's a lot of uh, options in the situation here. Confusion. You're going to have to choose between two paths here. Okay. But with the Five of Swords and energy... In the spiritual realm, it talks about you having triumph over a situation that, you know, in your mind, in your thoughts, right? You're not going to, the people that hurt you, the people that haven't had your back, the people that questioned you and whoever you were here, okay? I feel that you are standing solid in your ground here. You're focusing on the positive. That's 100%, okay? But you will have to choose between two paths. There's two paths that you need to choose from, okay? Because there is going to be some type of communication coming in. This is about this is about long-term plans that you will have to do. It's like you envisioning it, but there is two paths to take here. Okay, let me see 
if I can get anything else with this uh, deception and envy with the Seven of Swords. Yeah, something that's been on your mind. Been going through a lot of pain here and anguish and anxiety over this. Okay. Eight of Cups. Judgment. Yeah. It's about trusting your intuition, Pisces. Trust your intuition. Go within. Go dig deep and within. Okay, it's about your intuition here. Maybe at one point you felt left out, ghosted in the dark. Maybe at one point you were lacking, you felt you were lacking something. Money, person, situation. Whatever it is here, whatever this took place, a lot of you walked away from it. What no longer served you. That's why the Five of Swords is there. And the judgment coming in. There's going to be a huge revelation here for you. Remember, there's going to be two paths to choose from. Okay, two paths. You have to choose between two paths. Which can bring you that what you what you truly desire here because there is something coming into alignment momentum swiftness a lot of messages coming in okay so just have to be careful of the people around you because uh people i don't i don't feel like everybody wants to see you happy pisces or see you thriving or doing good but you you you're gonna walk away from everything that is not that is not for your highest good that's 100 percent People that are shady, people that do not have your back. You're done with that. Okay. Let's look at the sacral chakra. The Ten of Swords, the Sun, the Queen of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Karma is coming in, something is coming destined for you. When it's destined, nobody could stop it to come in. But then you get to choose if you really want to go in that direction or not. But <clears throat> it is about, you know, <clears throat> it's very, it's a very good card to get when you get the, 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 the Wheel of Fortune and Justice. Karma, karmic truth. Whatever that was unjust will be just again. Truth, fairness, learning the lessons that you had to go through, right? Whatever that took place here, there was an ending, final chapter. A big cycle had to close out. And that, with that came the sun shining. This is an incredible force that comes in. It's about positive vibes. It's about freedom. It's about happiness, opportunities. The queen of wands. It's about your self-confidence. There's a lot of work that you put towards your creativity here as well. And you being more in your divine feminine more than ever. It's about being outgoing. It's beautiful. Let's look at the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Justice, Libra. Wheel of Fortune. The Seven of Pentacles. Something is definitely coming in that is that is going to be equal in balance here. Definitely. There will be some type of communication coming in or a lot of creative ideas taking place or haha -ha moments that you're going to be receiving. Whatever the case here, is that the Wheel of Fortune is here with the Justice and with the Seven of Pentacles here, it just shows me that you're reevaluating everything at this time, whether it's your money, your finances, or everything in your life. And you've been putting a lot of hard work through your creativity, through who you are, through whatever the experiences you went through. And uh, that hard work will pay off. <clears throat> it's going to pay off because it's, it's here for you. Okay, you will have a breakthrough here, definitely. Let's look at this Two of Cups. This could be a meeting, someone coming in sync, and a contract could be work, love, whatever it is for you. Okay. The Hierophant, Temperance, the Ten of Cups. Whoa. Ten of Wands. It's been a long journey. You're tired. You're laying down your foundations. The tower is coming in. The tower is coming in for what? To bring you this. The Hierophant, Temperance, and the Ten of Cups. With the Two of Cups. I don't know if you see the cards. The gold. Oops. Okay, that world. Anyway, yeah. Uh, this is about happiness. Maybe you're going to be returning to happiness within yourself, in a family. 
This could be a soulmate energy. You could be having children. Whatever the case is, uh, there is marriage here, for sure. For some of you, of course, there could be. Uh, this is about alchemy. It's about uh, moderation. It's about uh, beautiful healing, communication. Um, it could be also a, a spiritual union that's coming into balance here. It's about, uh, take, it's about taking the higher road here. It's about values and faith. It's aligning. Though it's been difficult, it is aligning. Let's look at the Eight of Cups. You're, there's a lot of you're, you're, there's a lot of emotional withdrawing that you're doing at this time, or will be doing, or have been doing. Let's see. A lot of heart healing, heart healing. The Five of Cups, yeah, of course, healing. The Five of Cups with the Eight of Cups. Healing. Looking at everything that went wrong in a situation, but not realizing that there's the two cups standing behind you, where there's the connection is still there. There's a connection here, very strong. King of Wands, Eight Nine of Cups. There's a wish fulfillment that's coming in. I feel someone here is not bearing the truth at this time. You're not able to communicate, tell you what's happening. Nope. This, some of you could, this is a lover energy. There's a decision to be made here. There could be two parties or trying to go back and forth or making quick decisions, trying to bring something into balance. It's definitely a past life for some of you. So you are dealing with someone from your past life that you have in this energy now, today. And um, there's also a new person or a new s a situation that's coming in. So at the end, it, it's really, it's happening for everybody on the collective, right? So there is a wish fulfillment that's going to be coming in. This could be a, some type of proposal, buying a house, selling a house. This could be about celebrations, a house. It could be someone returning to a house, home, home sweet home. Okay. And there's going to be less interference here. Stability, celebration. It's important that you trust your intuition because there's a wish fulfillment that's coming out of this. The King of Wands is coming in to take territory. There's a leadership role here. Someone's looking into the past and wanting to make some type of action. There's a bigger picture to this situation. We're going to look into this. Uh, I just want to go a bit more further with this Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups. Give me something else here. Three of Wands, you've been waiting for something to come in here for a while and your manifestations are here. Definitely. Manifestation, it's about expanding, overseas uh, opportunities. It could be anything here. Yeah, you're ready. You're ready. Queen of Swords and Energy. You're you know, I feel you know, you're discerned here in a situation. You are, you need to heal that heart chakra. Uh, you are using your mind in this situation, but it's not with your mind. Even though you're fair, it's not with your mind that's going to be doing the healing. You will have a breakthrough here, an epiphany, some type of communication, clarity that's coming in. Nine of Cups. Like I said, a wish is, this, a wish is going to be granted here. Someone here that's going after what they want. Let's look at this King of Cups. This King of Cups is the King of Pentacles. Also, King of Cups, King of Pentacles here, something, someone very passionate, going after what they want. Someone that's stable here, there is prosperity. There will be celebration, could be a reunion, could be um, collaboration, but there's definitely something coming in. Someone that has been taking time out here, okay? Yeah, someone that was abandoned, there was some type of conflict, someone that ended up alone. Someone had to go through the dark night of the soul. Whether it was you or someone, someone, Whatever it could be, if it's not about no one around you, then it's the world at large. Yep, it's about finding new perspectives and seeing a situation because there is true love here. There's abundance. There's happiness that's here for you. Let's look at the tower. The King of Cups. So I got uh, the three kings right now. 
the Knight of Pentacles, the Tower. Wow. The ending of something that's been difficult. So whatever that's been difficult that you've been, you're laying down your foundation. It's like it's been a long journey. The Two of Cups. Someone is coming in. Like I said, it could be an agreement. It could be a, soul, a contract. It could be uh, someone that you're uh, sink in or it, uh, someone that is exchanging something here with you. But definitely there could be love on the brain here, 100%. Someone's coming in emotionally well, emotionally available. Someone here that's working or to walking towards someone or it could be someone coming towards you, like Pisces, or this is you. But someone that's taking their time and they're planning ahead with the Two of Cups and energy. And this is why the Tower is coming in. Because it's been very difficult. Yes, a wish will be granted. Yes, with the Aquarian energy. There's a wish that's going to be granted. You manifested this. This is someone new or someone from your past. That's how it is. Yeah. Let's look at the throat chakra here. Because communication is going to be brand for you with this reading. Okay. Speak from a place of love and compassion. Okay, let's see what's taking place here. Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the world. Yeah, something is coming into balance. Whatever you give will be given. There will be some type of communication coming in online. There will be an arrival. There's an arrival here or an invitation that's coming in for you. But there's definitely someone coming in here. Um, there is going to be a final chapter. You're, this is an ending of lessons you got to learn. So you're going to the next level success and victory travel the ten of pentacles is a fruit of life stability that's taking place here okay stability let's look at this knight of wands in energy why is the knight of wands here the six of swords yeah someone's coming towards you definitely there is someone there's better times coming ahead a peaceful resolution that's taking place for you stableness peace that's coming in from a time that it's been a lot of heartbreak there will be a new beginning that's taking place look Pisces you're here okay and um, yeah there's a lot of traveling I do see someone traveling here let's see what's why is this knight of uh, swords uh, wands here with the six of swords please give me another card yeah someone that's been taking time out and hermiting for a very long time following their path they're keeping this secretive it's important to trust your intuition, okay? The knowing you will know, Pisces, okay? You're digging deeper into this situation. You're, whoever this is, someone is coming towards you or you are going to the next level and level and level. Let's look at the triumph card here. You got the six of wands, the page of pentacles, the chariot, Cancerian. Queen of Cups and Energy, someone that's very loving. There's a huge transformation that's going to take place with the Death card. Okay, definitely a huge transformation. Someone very psychic, very loving. There's there's like triumph here, right? But there's triumph here with the Six of Wands. It's about it's about uh, uh, you know there's a there's a there's an offer. There's going to be an apology for some of you, or there's an offer coming in. Definitely with the Page of Pentacles. It's a, it's about success and victory being recognized. Okay, uh, definitely prosperity here. And it's about taking control of yourself, taking control of your power and moving forward here. There could be traveling, like I said, car, train, boat, plane. There's all kinds of traveling going on here, whether you're going on vacation, relocating or moving. I see something coming in here, like new, old, past life. So remember that, okay? Now we're gonna take extra cards for you to see if there's anything else I could purge from the reading that I did not see or did not say or that was not shown to me. Okay, let's see here. Is there anything else? Well, you got number seven with Cancerian energy. A lot of Cancer. Seven, seven, seven. How many sevens do you have on the ground? Fairy tale. White horse. It says, believe the impossible. <laughs> Daydreams. Romantic ending. Universal archetypes. Hopeful. Magic. Unicorns and rainbows aspire happily ever after stories we tell you also got number six Anam Kara, which talks about unconditional love romance okay uh, soulmates on common bond devoted um, it talks about best friends affection appreciation uh, infinite love and then you got beads and the beads okay is about 
a lot of you maybe are worried at this time, you have fear, anxiety, uh, you're passing time, you're probably upset, you need more care, uh, there's a repetitive emotion, uh, nervousness, okay, so meditation is great, you could also pray with the beads as well, and there's many forms of doing bead work. You also got re repairman number six. So you got number 66 here as well. Actually, you have three sixes. 666. Six, six. So it's about repair, fine tune, heal, fix. Okay. Reset, uh, needs fixing, make adjustments, recover, uh, make things right, mend, restore, upgraded. And then you got six bedroom. That's so This could talk about sexual fulfillment, intimacy, sensual pleasure, love affair, sleep, contentment. Uh, sleep on it, alone time, oasis, retiring, dream time, astral travel, and call it a day. So if you're tired, so you did get 666, that's amazing. Uh, let me see here if I could purge out anything else. This is the last of the cards that I have to share. Let's see if there's anything else that I could uh, say here to you. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Anything else for Pisces? Anything else for Pisces? Okay. Paradise. Take me down to paradise. Who's that? Who's that? Who sings that? Take me down to paradise city. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Uh, who sings that song? Uh, Take me down to paradise city where the grass is green and the, something the girls are pretty. I have the song in my head. I know the group. I just can't remember the group's name now. Okay. Anyway, lightning. Again, another tower, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, transformation, palm tree, something that's very stable, security, endurance, flexibility, the grim reaper, okay, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life, then you got coffin here, endings and new beginnings taking place, growth, change, liberation, transition, ascending, you're transcending up obstacles, learning, ex learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Pisces. I do have to go. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back, and I love you all. And remember, together we are one, together we are light, and together we are love. Take care. I'll see you soon.